Now another synthesis is Gabriel synthesis. Actually by using this synthesis we can prepare primary amides. So when uh, we use alkyl halide then we can prepare primary amine by using this synthesis. But when we use alpha halo ester, when we use alpha halo ester, we can prepare alpha amino acid. Let us see how. So for this synthesis, we need a thalamide. So this thalamide, this thalamide is actually prepared from thalic acid. Now see here, uh, we are using base hydroxyl ion. This hydroxyl ion abstracting this proton, this proton which is slightly acidic. Now see, this is nothing but the acid base reaction. Once this proton is removed by using one of the three lone pairs which are present on this oxygen, we get actually a water molecule. And once this proton is removed, this bond will go on this nitrogen. So one lone pair of electrons is already there. Another lone pair of electrons is coming from this bond. So if you count number of electrons on this nitrogen, they are more. Because of this, it is now negatively charged. So this anion is more stable because of resonance. I have not shown resonance. I hope you can, you can write resonating structures for this anion. So once this anion is produced, this is now acting as a nucleophile because of this negative charge. So you can see here, this is nothing but the SN2 type reaction, nucleophilic substitution reaction. So you can say this is SN2 type attack, SN2 type reaction. Now we are using alpha halo ester, alpha halo ester and we have selected this ester purposefully by considering that it will give alanine, this alanine. So accordingly you have to select ester. So this is a very crucial part of this synthesis. Now you can see here, this is alpha carbon, where the bromine is attached, where the Br is attached, where the halogen is attached. Now this is actually acting as a living group and this is a carbon where SN2 reaction is taking place. This nucleophile is now attacking this carbon where halogen is attached and by using one of the lone pairs of electron, it will form bond with this carbon. And this Br is now acting as a living group. It is removed from this reaction as a Br negative. Now once it is done, this portion is now joined to this nitrogen. This new nitrogen carbon bond is formed. Now, Next step is very simple. We are going to hydrolyze this by using a base. So hydrolysis is our step. So we are using OH since we are using this OH or it is available in the reaction medium. Now see after hydrolysis what will happen. After hydrolysis I can show you roughly it is very rough uh, H2O. Here we are using H2O. If I use here H2O and one more H2O, HOH. Now you can see one H is going on this nitrogen, one H is going on this nitrogen and there will be OH and OH. So we get here actually two carboxylic group, two carboxylic group and this nitrogen is converted to the NH2 group which is formed here. But since this is basic condition of the reaction medium having hydroxyl group, there will be again reaction, acid base reaction between uh, carboxylic group and OH. So we get here salt and we, we get here water molecules. So these H are now removed by this OH. So instead of showing OH, we have to show here these carboxylate ions. So these carboxylate ions. So H are removed by this OH to produce water. So similarly, this will undergo hydrolysis. So ester hydrolysis. You can see here ester hydrolysis. So when ester is hydrolyzed, it is again converted to the acid and the alcohol. So alcohol is produced here, ethanol. But whatever acid is produced here, H is there. 
that H will combine with OH and we get here carboxylate ion. So we got here one, two and three carboxylate ions because of this OH but it is used. This is base catalyzed hydrolysis. So we need hydrogen so we are going to acidify this. This SCL is added in the final step which will neutralize excess OH and which will give H to all these three carboxylate ions. So because of this I join H here and we get here our alpha amino acid which is alanine and this thalic acid is generated. This thalic acid can be used again to produce thalamide when it is treated with concentrated ammonia and this thalamide can be used for the generation of alpha amino acid. Here in this case we produce alanine. So in this way we can prepare alpha amino acid by using this synthesis. Thank you.